Hey Bells, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be playing dress up in some basic pieces in partnership with a brand called Mott and Bow. Y'all. <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. I am so freaking excited, y'all, because remember last time, a few vlogs back, I was making fun of us because we only had 30-something subscribers. <laughs> And I was like, it's, it's gonna be a long road ahead of us. Um, so when this company outreached to me, I think I think we were at like 51 or something, which was still a shock to me because I didn't know brand brands would be outreaching to people who are like smaller, micro, mini, little YouTubers, you know? So I'm so excited, y'all. I was so honored. She asked me, she was like, do you, do you want to do a partnership with us? And I'm like, girl, you don't have to ask me. <laughs> Just send the clothes, girl. Hurry up before you change your mind. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited to do this partnership. I actually read up on the brand because one thing I told myself when starting YouTube, and I know many other YouTubers um, believe in this as well, I don't want to promote anything that I don't believe in. I don't want to promote anything that I wouldn't buy myself. Um, Y'all will get to know that I am so anti-hoarder. It's not even funny. I don't like unnecessary things in my home something about that sounded arrogant so it's really important to me that whatever comes into my home i actually like okay because otherwise we we're gonna have to donate her but thankfully i got the pieces in the mail and i was like okay i will say um i'm not crazy about the jeans they are very cute they fit well they stretch nicely um but i am in love with the t-shirts um so it gave me three tees and one pair of jeans to try on and show you guys i love that each pair of jeans goes through a unique process so every pair of jeans that you purchase is different than a pair of jeans another woman would purchase which made me feel like a, you know a little special even the distressing like the scraping process is done to a T. Um, I was reading their their our story page and it says something about putting the jeans in an oven. I was like, <laughs> I didn't know people put jeans in ovens, but okay, okay. I like that this brand focuses on creating quality pieces that are affordable so you don't have to feel like you you gotta sacrifice an arm and a leg to get something that is of nicer quality. So that like really caught my attention. I was like, all right, my Mambo. You got my attention because you know why y'all you know why <laughs> how many times do i gotta say this in every single video i'm not cheap but i'm frugal so me and my and Bo have the perfect little partnership right now because they get me stay tuned i'm gonna get some of my pieces out and we're gonna play dress up y'all ready let's go all right y'all so this is the first look just a simple classic white tee and denim look very basic foundation to start off any outfit um i love this tee a lot you guys like i know people be saying shit just because you know they have partnerships but they didn't pay me so thankfully i don't feel an obligation <laughs> let me take this seriously i don't feel an obligation okay i mean i wouldn't either way but i didn't get paid for this they just sent me the clothing and asked me to try it on and share it with my audience and that's what i'm doing this tea so this is their marcy crew neck tea they also have this in a v-neck this material is so soft you guys i really really love this tea i got it in a size medium um which is pretty loose on me if you wanted it to be more form fitting and you're around my size i would definitely say get a small i would purchase this probably in a small and a medium because sometimes you you want it to be a little bit more loose and relaxed and other times depending on what you're wearing like say i wanted to wear a skirt with this and so i wanted the top to be a little bit more form fitting so i would actually get this in multiple sizes depending on you know what you want that's just me okay and then these denim jeans um, are their slim denim late I believe it's pronounced they have some stretch to them which is good so if you're somebody who is curvier <laughs> if you are my level of curvaceous or curvier you will be happy with these jeans because they will hug your body the only thing I will say um, if you have a smaller waist like I do have a smaller waist um, you might have some a slight issue with gap but nothing major can you see it it's not major like I wouldn't even bother getting these tailored it works oh y'all want to see what shoes I'm wearing how do people do this can you see my shoes easily I just wrapped um, my shoes around the bottom of the denim just to give it a little bit of flair y'all know I like something a little 
a little extra I almost tripped so this is how I styled the denim at the bottom I just paired it with these cute little sandals I apologize my toes aren't done <laughs> but they're still cute no I paired it with these cute little sandals and then I just wrapped it around the denim to give it a little bit more spice you know I like to dress my stuff up um, and make casual pieces a little bit more mm, you know so that way you don't look so casual you see what I'm saying girl I got the denim in a size 30 you know what now that I'm like talking it out with y'all I probably should have got them in a 29 I don't know I'm saying that but I'm like oh I'd be pushing it <laughs> because these fit really nicely but I feel like if it was a 29 it would just hug me a little bit more and because of the material I know that it'll eventually you know denim like eventually over time it'll stretch out so I probably would would F with a 29 so now I kind of want to spice this up a little bit make it a complete outfit so we're gonna play dress up okay so I got this um, denim shirt and it matches this denim pretty decently so we're gonna throw that on and see what it looked like <laughs> I don't know why I be talking like that sometimes um, you know and mind you, it's, it's summertime, it's a little hot weather, but um, you can make it work in the fall, okay? What are we looking like here? Should I tie it? Let me see. I'm not mad at this. What do y'all think? Listen, when I tell you I be playing dress up, like trying different things, seeing what it look like, I like this. And we pair it with a cute little bag. Where are we going? I like this. Okay, Matt and Bo. This looks cute, y'all. <laughs> Doing the most. I really love playing dress up. I tell you, my, me and my clients back in the day, we used to have a lot of fun. So here is the black. Same tee, the Marcy tee in black. I'm just going to tuck in the side, you know, so we act like we, we made this something a little extra, even though it's very basic. You always gotta dress up your basics. So people think you tried when you didn't, okay? <laughs> so that's the Marcy T in black. Very cute. This time I just took it out. I didn't tuck it in, um, except for the side. I tucked that in so that we can emphasize the shape, make me a little bit more curvaceous, you know? Very cute, very simple. How shall we dress this up, girls? These are like my favorite shoes. Do y'all see them? Can y'all see them? I love these shoes. Um, so we're gonna try this on with the black and see what it looks like. That's really all you have to do when you have basic pieces is find like the right accessories, right shoes, right jewelry, hat, bag, all that good stuff, and just pair it with those accessories. And once you do that, You'll notice like all your basic pieces just start to come to life. So we add these shoes. I'm gonna roll up the hem. These are 30 inseams. They actually feel a little bit shorter than what I thought they would be. We are gonna roll that up. Let me see, I like to try different. I like that one better. We are gonna do like a little messy roll up situation, okay? because nobody's perfect. Regular, classic look still, black tee, denim, have my little kitten heels and my zebra print. Boom. Simple black leather jacket. How can you go wrong with that? Huh, how? All right, so this is in gray, still rocking the Marcy crew neck tee. Um, again, this is actually a really nice fit actually for medium. I would, I think I would get the small, like I said, um, just to play around with the more fitted look, but this is a really good size. You know what I would do? I'm going to tie it in the back. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Letting you know you got options, girl. Okay. You got options. So here's what the gray looks like. I just tied it in the back like I showed you. So I have like a more fitted, um, more fitted look here at my waist. So kind of like, you know, sucks everything in. Y'all, I'm not mad at this. I really, really love these tees. The denim is cute, okay? I, <laughs> the denim is cute, but these t-shirts have won me over. So I'm just gonna keep this a little bit more casual 
we're gonna throw the little kitten heels away i'm gonna do my little haitian sapats okay <laughs> so i'm gonna throw these on my feet all right so i have a great tea my little sapats i hope you guys can see it very simple look let me see what we can add to dress this up a little bit yeah this is cute i'm like feeling this cash look okay I wanted to see with this denim, because this is a denim jacket, the other one was a denim shirt. I was watching some, um, I, I'm not gonna say her name, but I was watching somebody on YouTube and she was saying denim jackets are out. I was like, girl, <laughs> you can't just get rid of a classic like that. Denim jackets are staple pieces. Disrespectful. <laughs> and meanwhile, I got like this cute ass denim jacket. She, she just offended me, okay? So I would do this. I would rock this over the shoulder. I probably still keep my little sandals on. I don't mind that. Mm. 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 It's not the same wash of denim, but you can still make that work. I put on this cute little denim skirt that I need to get tailored. Oh my God, I like definitely need to get this tailored. I would wear it with this. I mean, it's a t-shirt. You can wear it with the, whatever you want. Bim, 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 bim. This is very cute. I don't know how I feel about this. I think because I like saw vintage white, I thought it'd be like like closer to like a cream color. I mean, somebody could make this work. I don't know if that somebody needs to be me. Let me see if I can rock this with a different skirt and if that would look better. Hold on. All right, y'all. I think I like it with this skirt better and the white tee. I could also pair it with the black tee and I think it would be a cute look. Simple. White tee. Remember when I did that Revolve haul and I showed you guys these beautiful pants? I'm gonna see what that looks like paired with this top with the Marcy um, crew neck. I feel like, because I don't know, for some reason I was thinking about this like all the way dressed up. I mean, these are pretty dressy pants, so even pairing them with a t-shirt will still give a, a dressier feel. What do you guys think? I still need to get these um, tailored. I think I, in my video, I shared that I got them in an extra large when I needed a large. So they're not loose, um, but I definitely like it with the t-shirt. It gives it a very casual look. Like, you know, like business casual. You know, you can go out to a quick little business brunch with this little outfit on. Cute bag, some heels, some shades. This is cute. Yo, I feel like I'm having a little too much fun. <laughs> I told you guys, I love playing dress up. Like, seriously, get one piece out of your closet, whether it's a staple piece, whether it's a basic, and just play dress up and see how many different ways you can rock it. It's, it, it's fun for me. All right. These are my favorite denim jeans. I purchased them like, I want to say over 10 years ago. It's been a minute. Um, and they still fit. <laughs> I've actually lost weight since I purchased them. What I would do with this, because you know, I, I still got to give grown woman vibes. <laughs> I'd actually just pair this with a blazer. Um, and this is something you could rock in the summertime. So if it's like cooler weather or you're going out at night in the summertime, I would actually rock this. So you have shorts on. If you get hot, you can take it off because your t-shirt, your Marcy crew neck got you covered. Um, or you just throw a blazer on and keep it a little bit extra professional, you know? I don't know why I said professional. I would not wear these little short shorts <laughs> to anything professional. But you can keep it nice and casual still, you know? I like this look. Rocking the same bag that I had on earlier. This was also my little B-Day bag, y'all. And you just rock this bag. I don't have any shoes on, don't mind that. I would do this with some black heels or you could do it with some flats. Very simple outfit, you guys. All with the crew neck. <laughs> you hot, you open it up. If you want, you can untuck this, make it a little bit more casual. You know, I like to stick things in the side to give me a little bit more waist. Boom. How cute is that, y'all? Very simple. And just a, a basic crew neck can be dressed up in so many different ways. 
All right, Bells, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had fun playing dress up with me. Dressing up should be fun, y'all. At the beginning of my career, I started off as a wardrobe stylist, and the reason why I wanted to become a wardrobe stylist, I mean, I wanted to do anything that empowered women, but it was because I realized a lot of people would get dressed up and they wouldn't enjoy the process. Dressing up or, you know, clothes shopping or putting outfits together would be a miserable experience for a lot of my clients, you know, my friends, my family, because it was like it was almost like an opportunity for them to critique themselves I wanted people to see dressing up and clothes shopping in a different light one thing that I would always stress to my clients is to not focus on how an outfit can make you look amazing but more so how can I make this outfit look amazing does that make sense like that's a different mentality again a huge thank you to Matt and Bo for partnering with me on this video all right y'all I'll see you guys in the next video bye